And today in Baton Rouge, Mayor Shara Weston Broom did officially declare today Pride Day across the city for the LGBTQ community and others as well. And a record setting festival this afternoon headlined Baton Rouge's running celebration of Pride Month. Fox 44's Kennedy Walker met some parade goers who say they were just happy to express themselves. Yes, today the River Center was filled with rainbow as thousands of people came out to celebrate Baton Rouge's 13th annual Pride Festival. Because it's more than just a festival, it's really a place for everybody to come and be their true self, to be authentic to who they are, a safe place without needing to worry about, oh, I kissed my partner in public. You can. Tutus, flags, and stickers were just some of what people were sporting today to show their love and support at this year's Pride Festival. I honestly love it. Everyone's just like really positive and kind and welcoming. This was the fifth year that it was held at the River Center, but for some people, it was their first time coming. I'm here to support my friends. She recently came out. This year's Grand Marshal is Aaron Moak. Though he says he attends a lot of Pride events, this is the first time he is the Grand Marshal. It, I mean, I didn't know what to say. I was speechless. He says that one thing that makes Baton Rouge Pride stand out from the rest is that it is extremely kid-friendly. I go to a lot of different Pride events all over the place, and but this one here is specifically set up to be a family-friendly event. Coming out later in life, he says that he feels grateful that he can finally be who he is. Bringing his partner and his sons with him, they all say they couldn't be more proud. I love everything about him. I'm there to support him uh, through everything. Aaron says that he loves being a Grand Marshal and that he will continue to support the community. For Fox 44, I'm Kennedy Walker. Well, thanks, Kennedy.